making this little film to uh, show the guys and gals in the Falcon Club how to keep their Falcons running cool in hot temperatures. I live in Northern California and we can have a hundred plus degree Fahrenheit days and uh, it's tough on these particularly these V8s so uh, this is a 289 it's a high performance although it's a Futura it's a second motor and uh, first one the uh, unfortunately the crank bolt unscrewed itself and the X the other bolt ahead broke so it destroyed the motor I was going about 70 miles an hour at the time so I had a nice long walk in the middle of the night but th that's off the subject first of all I've installed a four core radiator in a stock four shroud and right in front between the uh, grill and the radiator support you will see an electric fan on the other side you will see an electric fan I had to cut some of the grill off the fans to get them to uh, fit in this area I didn't want to mess with the um, part that holds the hood down and make it less strong so and I like to really like to leave things stock as much as possible so uh, these work quite nice I got them both from JC Whitney and over here you will see a little thermostat that's adjustable and um, I just simply have to put my hand down here and there's a little knob to adjust it and if you look up here you'll see where the wire from the thermostat is soldered onto the uh, top of the radiator so it knows when the radiator's hot obviously I'm gonna have an overflow here and uh, that did not come stock in the Falcons. That was something I got at Grand Auto years ago. Now they're out of business. Now you can see why I need the extra cooling because I'm running AC in this. And that does tend to uh, overheat your motor on a hot day, particularly when you're stuck in traffic, slow traffic. And you can see the air conditioner condenser right above the fan so I also found a five blade fan on eBay that someone was selling and it's an exact copy of a Ford uh, five blade fan for air conditioning and uh, but it's made out of some kind of vinyl plastic but if you were to look at it, you'd swear it was the uh, original fan. Let's pull go over on the other side, see if we can actually see it. I'm not sure we can, but it's in there. Take my word for it. But what has really uh, cooled this engine down, despite the four-core radiator, all Falcons came with a two-core radiator, adding the shroud, putting in the lighter fan, putting in the electric pusher fans in front with the adjustable thermostat is the fact that I added a World Product Sportsman 2, 2 with Roman numerals 2, cast iron cylinder heads with larger uh, exhaust valves and in order to get the most out of them most, most horsepower 
and to keep the motor running cooler, I put on hooker headers. The uh, stock Falcon headers were terrible. They uh, were at basically a 45 degree angle where the air was would hit the side and then force itself down, which is not efficient at all. And you'll see my little tag on here telling you that I have World Products Windsor Junior Cast Iron Cylinder Heads. And when I put these cylinder heads, I had already done all the other uh, work on the car to keep it running cooler. I noticed that uh, it was my uh, thermostat in the car, my little gauge was showing it running cooler all the time and I thought well that's odd and then I remembered that I had the uh, larger exhaust valves so I thought well that's got to be it it's removing that hot exhaust and it's removing it much more of it and much faster and uh, I've got the uh, higher non-stock uh, valve covers because I run rocker rollers in this too. I'd never even heard of rocker rollers when I was a kid and when I started uh, investigating how to get uh, some more horsepower out of this I uh, realized that would add quite a bit and make the car run a little more efficient. I do notice when I start it up, after, if it's been sitting for a week, I'll hear click, click, click for about, oh, 20, 30 seconds until the oil gets up in there. And then they, then they quiet down. But these are all the things that I've done. And I have a feeling if I just put on the four core radiator and the uh, world heads, that I wouldn't have had to do the fan shroud and the uh, uh, lighter Ford five blade fan and the thermostat and the pusher fans but anyway altogether I can be stuck in 110 degrees stuck in dead traffic be running my air conditioner full blast and this thing never goes past half on the uh, on the uh, gauge as far as heat. And the other important thing to do, obviously, is replace your thermostat every two years. The correct thermostat for your motor, and completely uh, clean out all the old uh, coolant flush it and put in new coolant and some people don't know they'll put in a hundred percent coolant and you can't do that you've got a, the maximum you want to do is maybe two-thirds coolant and it'll say so right on the bottle but a lot of people you know as guys we don't read instructions another very important thing is to have the correct uh, cap on here and of course this is not a stock cap this is a 13 pound cap and it's made to work with the overflow tank so if you're wondering what this odd thing is over on the right this is actually something I'll bring up in another film it's uh, an oxygenated hydrogen generator and uh, I'll talk about that later someday.